Okay, this video is on how to repair a broken dual flush handle on a Pegasus model 131926. You know, bought at your local big box uh, lumber yard. They sell, they were, or I should say they sold the toilet, but they don't have any parts for it. So, after lots of searching on the internet, I happened to find the replacement part. So I'm just going to replace the cable and, and I'm not even the handle. So big shout out to www.briggsplumbing.com and the repair part is a number 4488TL and that is the mirror image of what's broken in there. So how do you get this out? Well after looking at it I discovered that the cap on top of this flush valve pops off with just three little tabs. So to get that top off, I used a paint can opener because I like the curve on the blade and a flat screwdriver. And I pried up and loosened both of these ones and then rotated the control valve until I could get in with the edge of this thing and pry up the second one. Now these things will have to come up pretty evenly. You can't go like this, it's got to come up pretty much straight up. Once you remove that cap, then we'll find the internal guts of this thing. And this is where this thing comes to be really simple. So it's all just set in there. There's no screws, there's no nothing. So all you do is you pull this thing up Wiggle it out of there. That's it. That's how you remove that. Replace it with the replacement part. <clears throat> what I did is I got myself a little piece of wire, put a band in it, so I could lift up the flusher valve there. And let me see here. Make sure this thing is assembled properly. big fat and flips on that tab right there. Holding up the stopper valve with the wire, with my little hook wire, and you place, oh man, a little tricky keeping this thing in because it's only pinned on one side. So, lower this guy down here, take your valve, put them in place. Now, just Run this thing into place, which I think she's going to go this time. Look at the wire out. Set this thing up. I'm not going to push it too hard because I don't want to wreck anything here. I'm going to make sure my Long leg that goes 90 degrees is pushed in the right direction. There we go. There's one to go. It's just that easy.
Now, reinstall the clip. So I'm just going to make sure this. And double check that the actuator actuates. Freely. Okay. I'm gonna clip this clip back on. Okay, got the, got the clip on, set down, refill the tank, take it for a test spin. So we're gonna do the, the short flush. Successful. Do a deep flush. Good work as well. Okay, I didn't replace the handle. I used this my own same old handle, and this is how I knew it was the right one. It was the one with the dots on it, so I knew I had the right uh, part four four eight eight TL. So again, shout out to RigsPlumbing.com for walking me through this uh, acquisition of this thing. So, what I use for tools: two short screwdrivers and a piece of wire with a hook on it to hold that stopper valve up. That was it. So, total time to do this, uh, 45 minutes, I would think. By the time you peel everything apart, get down to replacing it. So, hey, simple and easy. I just love it. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'm doing this repair on a Pegasus Model 131926. And what we had was a broken handle cable. 